Okay, hello and welcome to Mine and Claire's, or Claire and Mine, I'm Sarita, our complimentary and split complimentary color scheme um, presentation. Alright, so in the first slide we're going to show a YouTube video um, on split complementary colors. Um, $5,000, <laughs> and this one is $3,000. So this lesson is all about split complementary colors. Welcome to another Art School video. If you would like to know more about color theory, you can check out some of my previous videos. The link will be in the description box below. What are split complementary colors? A split complementary is a variation of the complementary color scheme. Unlike the complementary color scheme, which is only made up of two colors, a split complementary is made up of three colors. The dominant color and two colors that are adjacent or next to its complementary color. Using a split complementary color scheme, what three colors can I use to design my flag? Let's recap a little. Complementary colors lie opposite each other on the color wheel. So let's say I would like green to be my dominant color. I would first have to find the complement of the color green. The complement of green is red. Next, I would have to find the two colors that lie on either side of red. Red-orange lies to the right of red and red-violet lies to the left of the color red. Green red orange and red violet is an example of a split complementary color scheme let's try another using yellow orange as my dominant color i must first find its complement the complement of yellow orange is blue violet next i must identify the colors to the left and to the right of blue violet they are blue and violet. These colors will make up the split complementary color scheme. They are yellow-orange, blue, and violet. These are the groups of split complementary colors. Which is your favorite? That wraps up our lesson on split complementary colors. As always, I hope you learned something new. Thank you for watching. Let me know what topic I should cover next. And like, comment, and subscribe for more art school videos. Okay, so that was our, um our little video on the complementary colors and split complementary colors so why do we use split complementary colors split complementary colors are used to create a similar complementary color palette effect however this effect can often be seen as more subtle and less striking these color palettes contain less tension within a color scheme. Split complementary colors are versatile, easy to achieve, there are more color options available, and they're a pleasant addition to any design. All right, so the definition of a split complementary color is a variation of complementary color scheme, which is a combination of three colors. So as we have our little example here, the little cool star here, um, we see, you know, red um, is the primary color and the complementary color is green. 
But if I was going to use split complementary, then I would use the one to the left of green and the one to the right of green. So it would be red, teal, and I believe it's char chartreuse. So that would be a good example of complementary and split complementary. So the vocabulary that we have here um, there are, you know, a few different color schemes which are similar, which I'm sure um, some of our other classmates are going to cover and have covered. So there's analog, which it seems like they're all very similar, like right next to each other. Um, there's triadic, which seems like it's very close to like the primary colors, like red, blue, and yellow or if you were to flip that triangle it shows here that it could be pink orangey yellow uh you know tealy green or tealy blue sorry um and then you have dual complementary which they show or we're showing purple and green tetriadic it's like it's quite a few different colors and monochromatic which goes from the lightest you can go in one color to the darkest um, tint or shade in one color. So uh, here are some examples of uh, split complementary colors. We've got red, blue, green, and yellow, green, orange, blue, purple, blue, green, and so on. So there are 12 basic split complementary color combos. Um, so here are some relatable examples. In this example, we can see Fanta uses orange and variations of blue-green. The Tide example shows the logo with um, uh, blue and shades of yellow-orange. Um, so here's some wrong examples. Uh, we've got the triadic color scheme, which is pink and yellow and blue, which is not a uh, split complementary because we would be needing to use um, the two to the left and the right of a complementary color. Um, okay, so let's let's ask you guys a question. Um, I've got three questions for you. You know, I've got the primary colors here. What would be the split complementary colors of yellow? So yellow, yellow split complementary colors would be blue, purple, and red, purple. So what about red? Okay, so red's got blue, green, and yellow, green. What about blue? Blue's got red, orange, and yellow, orange. All right, so in conclusion, split complementary colors can be used as a tool to make any color scheme more interesting and include more of a variety in a color palette. They are used to make a color scheme more easily digestible. Um, split complementary colors are one of the many different ways to incorporate color in a design. All right, so thank you so much for um, tuning in and um, you know listening to our presentation and these are just the credits where we found our information so i hope you enjoyed so much and thank you very much